Welcome back. It is day 13 of our Blitz grind to 2000 to ELO, and we have definitely lost a bit of ELO sitting at 1803. That is okay. What goes up must come down. So let's see who we're playing, and we have the white pieces, and we get a Sicilian. I'm going to play this line. I'm still very new to it. I'm still studying it, but we got phase one. All right, they're going for this. I don't really think this is that big of an issue. If they take, they we just take back and trade queens. It's all good. Now, I do believe if they do this, we can lock this away, but I don't think we need to at the moment. Actually, we do, because then we lose the pawn if we just castle. So we're going to kick the knight back, and then we're going to castle, play c3, and we're going to play for d4. That is the idea. Probably knight here. It could go here, but you never know. We shall see. Yeah, the knight goes back. Now, we could start with this, or we could castle. I kind of like starting with this, so that they can't just push. Although, if they do that, I mean, we just keep it that way. Even if they go here, we're going to play c3. Let's just castle. Yeah, the bishop's developing. It's all good. We're going to play c3. And then we're going to play bishop e3. And we're just going to try and make this work. Also, if they ever push... It allows my knight to get to this square, which gives me access, hey, there it is, to these squares. Now, we obviously don't take, um, but instead, we might just play knight here. Because takes, takes, we're pretty happy, right? Yeah, I think we're pretty happy with this. Ooh. Okay, this is one of the moves. This is indeed. We could take on Passant. I don't know if that's really that great. I've opened up this diagonal now so i'm thinking en passant and then just knight here and we try to plop a knight in here we could go knight here takes but you guess then you know we would go with this one so we can open up these checks maybe i'm gonna en passant though maybe not the best move maybe not the best move because we are splitting the pawns but ooh, knight takes oh right it takes away this square too maybe that was really bad i don't know but we're gonna try and aim for the square now we might go back or maybe they just castle. Who knows? Yeah. And now we're just going to bring the knight. Of course, they take. They We take back. We're happy. Now, the bishop is kind of an issue here. Usually, the bishop goes to e3, but they haven't allowed us to do that. So, this will be a learning experience. Because they played this completely differently than everything I've been studying. Which is, you know, part of learning an opening. Okay, they hop the knight into the center. Very interesting choice. So I don't see why I wouldn't take here. Screw their pawn structure up and then go here. That just makes sense to me. Maybe they're trying to win this pawn. But I can go here first. Because we can take hitting both of these pieces. So if takes... Honestly, I'll probably take here first. Because once the queen moves, we take this with check. But even... Even if we were to allow... This and this. I mean, this diagonal would be so good. I don't think we ever want to take. I don't even know if I want to push. Pushing might not be bad, though. Let's push through. Let's kick the knight. It's probably going to go here, takes, and then they got a weak pawn. I feel like our position is definitely better. But I don't think I'm playing this opening how it's supposed to be played entirely. If I'm being totally honest. But they were threatening the pawn, so we fixed that issue. And we have ideas of going here as well. Just putting immense pressure on this. Yeah, they go back. Now, I think slowly... I'm just going to go here. Attack this weakness. They're going to develop. But then I can probably just put more pressure. The knight only has this square. Okay, they go there. I could take. Knight takes. Maybe I play queen here first. Could be risky, though. I haven't really finished her development. I'm going to play here. Let's Let's keep the pressure. Now we're threatening to take, so they probably have to bring a rook. But we can do we can always swap off the bishop. Yeah, they bring the rook. For sure, for sure. Now, what do I want to do? I could maybe play like this. Just finish our development. Play it nice and slow. They're using a lot of resources to protect the pawn. The knight is much stronger than this bishop, so I don't really want to trade it off if I don't have to. I don't know if bringing my queen this way was right. 
Because a lot of the times in these openings, you want to be attacking the king. I'm not really attacking the king. I'm going after this weakness. Okay, so now they do this. So I could take... I'm going to take. And then we're just going to bring the rook. Ooh, they take back that way. So now they're attacking this pawn. But I think I can just move the bishop. Oh, but no, no, no. This is attacks. Very good. What if I just go here? Let's just play g3. Let's keep the pawns together. I don't see an immediate way for him to punish me for that. I don't think there's any kind of sacrifice. And then we're just going to bring the rook, put the bishop here. And we should be pretty solid. Although, knight here can kind of attack this. Also, he has 20 seconds. Slide back. I mean, I could take. Let's just take. I don't really see the issue. Maybe he wants to sacrifice here. But I can always block. Like, takes, takes. We can always go here. So let's just bring the rook. Yeah, I think we're just going to win on time. GG. All right, let's learn. Let's learn, guys. Okay, so we played with an 85, and they played with an 82. There wasn't a whole lot of big mistakes here, so that's awesome to see. Let's run through it. Th I mean, this is theory. Like... You don't play here. The computer's always going to say play knight here because it was trying to get like a different opening, but I'm basically just playing another version of the Grand Prix attack, in which case we always go f4. And they fight for the center. And now it, it wanted c3 already. And then we kick the knight back. Castles. Now we play c3. Nice strike. We don't take. Now we want to hop into these squares. That's the idea. Now this is... I wasn't sure if we should en passant because these pawns are pretty nice together. But I felt like we kind of needed to. Although apparently I'm supposed to jump in immediately. Going here first was wrong. Fair. And then takes and then we go here. Although it just wanted me to protect the pawn because yeah, this is just a free pawn. Yes. <laughs> just straight up a free pawn and they get the bishop. So, fortunately for us, they didn't see that immediately, and then we just slowly improved the position here, and then taking was wrong. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to just bring the rook, be more patient. If they take, you probably just take with the pawn and you're good. You're just chilling. Knight goes to the center, and uh, wait, what? Why is that the best move? <laughs> Why not here? Bishop here, you just get out of the way. Queen goes back, attacking this weakness. Yeah, I mean, he's just got a lot of weakness here. So, I guess trading off that knight was not a good move. And then takes, they flag here. We have pins. I mean, it's a good, good position for us. All right, we just finished playing one, but um, we ran out of space on the computer, so the clip got cut short, so... This is now game two. <laughs> we lost the last one, obviously, as you can see by the ELO, but that's all right. So we're going to have another Sicilian here. We're just going to go for our first stage. They're playing like this. A lot of people will fiend Keto the bishop, so it's like, I haven't seen, I haven't studied a lot of these positions yet. I don't see why I wouldn't castle though. Now we're just going to go for the typical plan. I don't know if, I think like, Queen e1 is an idea most times, but usually it's only when the bishop is here, because the knight can just move and attack the queen. So, yeah. Now we're going to put the bishop out. Okay, this is really slow. And I'm quite sure that it's wrong. I forget why. I forget why. I think we can just push, though, right? We just have a massive center here. Yeah, we do. Okay, so they're just going to give us this. But what about e5? Takes, takes. Is this not insane? Bro, why is he moving like this? <laughs> He's just trying to flag? Or what? Uh, so now this is attacked. But I think it's defended sufficiently. So we're going to go knight to a3 here. A couple ideas. We want to take advantage of this weakness. But also maybe going here. Alright, so they do that. Now I just want to make sure I don't... End up flagging, to be honest with you. Let's play queen over. It does take off a defender of this, actually. Maybe not great. 
He's trying to play quick. Let's go back with the bishop. I want trades. Yeah, he goes there. I'm going to take now because I can. Not because it's great, but because I can. The bishop's going to go here probably. Maybe bishop here. Let's try to trade at the moment. It does hang this pawn. Maybe that was not a good move. We can protect it though. Once again, we're hanging a pawn, but trying to move quick. So if he takes, we're going to take back, obviously. Don't really know what else he has. We can go here. Yeah, or we can just... Well, we could hit, we could hit the queen if we wanted to. But why not just double? I think this makes sense. Uh, I would imagine that they want... They want to come in. I'm going to go here and threaten the pawn. Go back, threaten this pawn. Just because I can. Well, attack the queen. I want this check. Yeah, we got a queen trade here. They're going to go check. No? But they were going to go check. I'm just going to step back with the rook, protect the second rank. Check, I'm not worried about. Maybe I should be, but we'll see. And protect it like this. Yeah, the rook's going there. The rook wants to come here. I probably have to double the rooks so that I can always just protect them. No, let's go with check. Screw doubling. Let's bring the rook. Or the, the knight. Means he can take here. <laughs> Oof. But at least we get the knight into play. This is actually really bad play by me, but it is what it is. No. Interesting. I'm gonna go here. We're threatening to get in. Let's push the pawn. I also have this check. Could have been good. I want to take the file. I do, I do. Okay, now we got the file. And we're threatening to go here. But then there's this. Maybe it's not so simple. I can go check and take. I mean, that. That can't be the right, right? Just go here. Push through. Why not? Let's hit the pawn. We protect. Threatening this. Get more trades. It's a free rook. Okay, my opponent is starting to panic, I think. Yeah, my opponent just resigns now. Let's go. So I gotta say, I played with a 75, they played with a 72. They did a very good job of actually making a comeback. And then they blundered. But yeah, no, props to them for that. Because, you know, they just really came back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got all this. And then we play here. And for some reason, they're just like playing insanely quick. Like, why did they play this? They played bishop b7 and then immediately went back after I attacked the knight, which just made no sense, but. Okay, so we got all this. We take, I don't think taking was really that great. We could just improve the knight. And then, like, our game plan is just trade. We gave up a pawn for it, but we're still just completely winning here. Although, we have to take, take. Oh, oh, I see. Because this is hit. Oh, okay, I missed that. It's a good move, though. And I was kind of scared of allowing the knight in, or the rook in. For good reason, because the rook getting in is the reason why they were able to come back. We gave them activity. They didn't take advantage of it, but... Yeah, we had to take the file. Screw the pawn, we take the file, and once we got this file, we were just crushing. Yeah. GG. Alright, let's play another one. Okay, we got the white pieces, e4, and we got a French defense. We play the Tirage, see if they take. They don't, we're gonna play knight of three. They might take now. If they develop the knight, we take. We go there, hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to this knight coming out. And then we take. 
but now we can take it's like they can take with the ninth we could also transpose we have to defend the pawn though or take something i don't want to think for too long i know taking is pretty common let's take and then i'm going to play c3 just protecting the center bishop comes out i don't think this is an issue you want to take and not allow me to take though so maybe that's not really that great so i'm going to develop the bishop here good castle but i think i'm going to kick the bishop back first to be completely honest yeah and do i want a castle let's just castle i don't think it's that bad there's no threat to that i mean i could take let's take let's actually just take yeah and let's tempo the bishop and i want to put a knight on the square was pretty much my whole idea behind that and now they have a weakness they're gonna give me the bishop but if I take the bishop, they get a really good center. Do I love that? No. Let's just finish development. Maybe that was just a feel-good move. Yeah, maybe that was a stupid move, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm going to go here. If they take, we can take with the knight. Okay, let's go here. I will take this. I'm threatening to win a pawn. Also just giving this up because we don't care about it. Now we're threatening to win a pawn with a fork, but we're also threatening this pawn. So I think this is actually a pretty good continuation for us. Because they can play this, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, but we just go here. And wada-bing, wada-boom. Check doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, we obviously are going to do this. We could take... Take... Come in, but then they can just block. And then we take here. Okay, so we actually have a bishop sack. This takes takes oh they don't do that they're just gonna allow us to get everything active so we have a check here to pick up this pawn or we could just get an active rook threatening to win the queen so they're gonna develop the knight yeah they kind of have to do that so if i go here i'm threatening the bishop what are they gonna do i don't really see it i guess they can go here threaten checkmate then we can just like force a trade or something. Actually, do I go here? 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 Oh, yeah. That's definitely the way, right? We just go check. Here. Where do I go here? Check. Definitely this. They run. No, no, we don't take. Is this mate? That's just mate, right? Yeah. GG. <laughs> I don't know why I had to think about that for a second. All right, we played with a 93% versus their 74. Not too shabby. Let's review. So we just had a French defense. Taking is correct. Now, I just remember lines where it's like this. Oops, not like that. Der, like this. And then I think we play something like this. Maybe not. Bishop b5 is the move. Oh, right. You go pin. And if they give you a check, you just go back. Right, right, right. But anyways, we have this. I was debating on pushing, but then we're just like in an advanced French, and I think they can just take, and then we have a weak pawn. So we didn't do that. Although we would have played C3, I think. But nonetheless, this is what happened. Kick the bishop back. Castle. They do have a lot of pressure, but I felt like we, you know, did a good job with dealing with the pressure. Not taking right away. We did have a fork on these pieces. Could have got the bishop, but... Oh, well. Yeah, I wanted me to take that bishop, but... Why? Just takes takes, right? And then look at their center. It improves their isolated pawn. Opens up the file for them. Taking doesn't make sense to me. But... Okay. They go for this. And now we just have a fork... Maybe that's why... No, I don't I don't even know. Anyways, yeah, after that happens, we found the, the nice bishop sack. The point was, if they take, we come in with check, and if they try to block, we just take the bishop. So, they went here, stepped over, and we just brought the rook. And, yeah, we found this nice continuation. 
they went here. This was the plan. We have to go here. And then I guess we can go here is what it's saying. And then there's this. And then you can pin. If they take, you just slide it out of the way. I mean, you're just crushing. So. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got some, some wins. We did lose one, but we lost the footage. So we got three wins today. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to take them. We're at 1823. We did peak at 1920 something. Uh, so we're down a good bit, but overall, we're above 1800 still. Just feeling good. Feeling good with it. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in another one.